big developing stories in Mobile tonight. One involves a deadly shootout at the end of a high-speed chase. The other story involves a grandmother who was gunned down inside her own home back in June. Today, police made the first arrest in the case. Now, we have live coverage of both stories tonight. Andrew Perez uncovered new information about that deadly shootout. But we start with Candace Murphy, who was live at the Metro Jail. That's where a man who's accused of killing a woman known as the Candy Lady is being held tonight. Candace. Bob and Lenny's 21 year old Maurice Harris is charged with murdering 65 year old Lai Robinson. She was known as the Candy Lady because she sold sweet treats and candy from her home on Latimer Lane. Now, we have been keeping you up to date on this story for more than two months now. That's when police say two men gunned down Robinson inside her home. Police say this is an important arrest, not only for their case, but for the community. Did you kill Lai Robinson? Were you the Is there anything you want to say to the family? Man, I ain't do that, man. Mumbling on his way to a mobile police car, robbery and murder. Suspect Maurice Harris claims he didn't kill Lai Robinson, but investigators say otherwise. Mr. Harris is responsible for Mrs. Robinson's death. They say Harris was in Robinson's neighborhood for drugs the night she was killed, but not at Robinson's home for that reason. It appeared to have been a robbery was taking place when she was shot. Investigators say two men approached Robinson's home and one of the men shot through a window, hitting and killing Robinson. It's unknown if Harris knew Robinson and if he is the one who fired the shot that ended the beloved grandmother's life. This was a very frustrating case because we knew that the, the community was very concerned uh, for, you know, basically an innocent woman. Um, you know, was gunned down in her home. We we're really fortunate uh, to get this young man off of the streets. Police say after more than a two month long investigation, they're glad to have a suspect behind bars for Robinson and for the community. And it's taken us a little longer than, than we expected. And we, uh, the, although the case is not totally closed, uh, this is the first chapter in, in getting uh, a single arrest, at least one arrest in this case. We asked police why Harris was not charged with capital murder. They said that decision was made by the district attorney's office. Police say there may be more arrests coming in this case, and we will, of course, keep you updated. Reporting live outside Mobile Metro Jail, I'm Candace Murphy, Fox 10 News. I was scared, and I 